Despite his vast collection of Spitfire parts, Peter Monk knows that every build requires some pieces he doesn't have. So today, he's off to visit an old mate and sparring partner who may have a fuel gauge he needs for the Greek Spitfire. The stuff I've got here is um, extremely rare. This is our sort of holy of holies sort of store parts. This room is completely stacked out with stuff, and it's the result of 40 years of collecting aircraft spares. Guy Black also builds new parts and has his own restoration projects. So he's not always keen to share. Duncan. Yes? Could you just hide something for me? Certainly. Guy does not uh, openly sell these bits and pieces. You won't find them advertised, and Guy doesn't need to sell them. He's a collector just like me and prefers to hang on to stuff. Over there, yeah, over there somewhere. So the fun here is, if Guy's got a part that is useful to us, how am I going to get him to, to let it go? I've sort of got the idea of what he's looking for half the time. Um, and the great challenge is to stop him taking the last bit I have. But he has his uncanny knack of spotting things that I've hidden away. Let battle commence. Good afternoon. Well, Just general look around? Yeah, well, this is the main oil filter for an early Spitfire, or indeed a Hurricane. And we've, we've got a, a future project where we're going to need this. We don't actually need it for another two years, but I'd rather make sure we've got it in the bag, because in two years' time, it, I can guarantee it won't still be on that same shelf. This is a special place, and there's parts in here that you won't find anywhere else. There's always something that uh, catches my eye that I know that Guy isn't going to let go. If I had my way, I'd turn up with a truck and just take it all, but that's not going to happen. Ah. He's found the fuel gauge. Does that look about right? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. But Peter's not stopping now, and soon he sniffs out some of his favourite parts. Undercarriage legs. Of course, Guy knows it's a component Peter will pay almost anything for. What are you looking for, Peter? Corrosion. But these are very good, they look very shiny inside. I want 15 grand. <sighs> 7,000. I'll show you something else. Time to get down to business. You've got two and a half thousand on there. Yeah. 1,500 would be better, wouldn't it? Fair. Oh, golly. No, that hurts now. Go on, 1,750. 2,000. Go on. What would you value this at, Guy? Well, they're on our website. At, is it three and a half? No, never, surely. Peter's must-have part for the Greek Spitfire is the fuel gauge. Well, I valued at the uh, fuel gauge at 375 quid. Guy's valued it at 1,500. All instruments during the war were fitted with luminous dials so they could be seen in the dark. By me demonstrating to Peter that it's still irradiated with this material confirms that it is an original item and not a replica. The expensive bits. So, what's the final bill? £400 for the fuel gauge and just over 15000 for everything else. What you're trying to do is present to someone an aircraft with the highest amount of original material possible in it. So you can say, um, and it's not a, 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 a replica. That's it. It's not always about just money. It's about knowing it's going to be used properly in the right aeroplane uh, for the right reasons. All right, Peter. And, um, yeah, see, see you next time. time. Yeah. yeah, I'll start saving up. <laughs>